Hey guys, welcome back. So, as you may notice, there are C-3PO arms everywhere, droid arms. Uh, I am in the process of reworking my arms ever so slightly and remodeling them in Fusion 360. When right now, we have a brand new one that just finished on the Prusa. It hasn't even come off the build platform yet, so we are going to check this out. So the new ones print uh, basically the whole forearm in one piece with the wrist, which I may make removable again. My previous version, the wrist was separate so that you could do uh, different style wrists without changing the arms. Um, what I mean by that is that um, between the old Star Wars movies and the new films, the wrists have knurling in the old movies and they don't in the new movies. So I did both versions. Um, so now the thing prints is one part. You don't have to seam it up, which is nice. I couldn't fit that on my old printer, but it just fits on the Prusa. You can see it is at the almost the very top of its uh, of its travel right there. I haven't put this on yet. Looks like it fits beautifully, and there's going to be a little uh, edge on here. So I'm not sure if this is going to fit together smoothly. I might have to sand this a tiny bit because. The tolerance is super close. Nope, it fits. Now there's a, a little brim on the edge that needs to trim off, but there is a new C-3PO arm, uh, forearm. Again, prints in one piece. This took about 20 hours to print, and I think the main reason is because this piece here, um, it had a little bit of infill, and had it been solid, I think it would have printed faster because this piece printed basically solid minus the pipey detail. But this piece, every time it would go through the middle layer um, in of this thickness here, go through the middle, it would go, it would take so long. If it just made one pass with a with a bead of filament, it would have worked much, much better. Uh, but anyway, I'm still working on the uh, bicep, but let's see some of the differences here. One of the things that I did is I uh, made this hole inside much bigger. Um, this is one of the old ones. I used, I basically on the old ones, I just put a little tiny guide hole and then I would drill that out. But uh, with these, um, I was able to match this to some hardware really easily with one of the features in Fusion 360. Um, another thing is that I put a, should have prepped this beforehand, guys. I don't know what I was thinking. Did it fall on the floor? What did I do with it? There's a little piece that is over here. Don't mind me. The little uh, piece that holds the pistons in the back. You can see I added some tabs and I put some keys in the back so that it will always line up properly once this is glued down. That way you don't have to print this with support. Um, it lines up really, really nice. It goes right where I want it to go. I don't have any any weirdness or I don't have to try to figure it out and line it up. It just will drop straight into place every time, which is good. Um, the bicep part also has these larger holes, which will fit a, a, a big T-nut will go in and then a quarter inch by 20 uh, th threaded bolt will pop in here. And I printed the little uh, covers for the bolts, but they were too thin on the sides and I got little holes. So I have to go back and adjust this just a little bit. And those will go here, and it will be awesome. Um, I think I'm going to also add the holes here for the um, the lower arm piston as well. So the next version may have that added, and maybe even some in the front, just so when the um, sliding track goes on. Oh, that was a bad noise. Whenever the sliding track goes on, it'll it'll just fit right in place. But anyway, Prusa print came out really, really nice. I'm about to start another one. I'm going to do this part and this part on separate prints and see if I can get a better time out of it because I felt like this guy here slowed the print down. Uh, I also gusseted the back. I don't know if you guys can see this. There's a little bit of a thickening just in this area, and that is just to help beef it up so that the piston on here isn't putting a lot of force on this really, really thin plastic. Um, I never had a problem with it on the old arms, but I could see where it might be a problem in the future, so I figured I may as well address that. Once I have a set of these completed in gold and on my suit and my suit is ready, I will put these online, uh, but not quite yet. Soon-ish. Soon Gordon schedule, which you, if you guys know me, know that, that could be a, quite a while, but in my brain, it doesn't feel that long. Uh, let's look at the Fusion file and we'll see what I've done here. 
All right, so here is the model. As you can see, the, the bicep is uh, not done yet. I am tweaking the length a little bit compared to my old arms. The outer edge of the old arms was a little bit long, so I am doing some calculations to figure out how short I need them to be. So let's look here. Bicep 2, we'll turn that off. So this is where we are at now. Um, you can see these guys are elbow bolts. Let me turn the opacity up to 100. Now, one really cool thing on Fusion 360 is that you can import hardware from McMaster Car, which means I was able to figure out what hardware I wanted to use to hold this thing together before I started. So, let me turn the bicep back on. You can see. The bicep comes in, there will be a T-nut, which will sit on the inside. I'll probably just uh, glue this into place in here. And then there's a little washer on the outside right here. And the bolt cover, which will look like this. And there'll just be a regular uh, quarter by 20 inch bolt, quarter by 20 bolt. It's a half inch long and will thread in just like so, and um, this hardware came straight from McMaster Car, so I didn't have to model any of this. Uh, and I know it's all gonna work out, which is really cool. So I'm, as of right now, I'm happy with the form. Like I said, I'm gonna make a few adjustments. I'm gonna go ahead and print another one for myself because I gotta get some done. Uh, I may go ahead and uh, maybe put the greebly, the greebles, the greeblies uh, directly onto the elbow, or I may still make them separate, but put a set of holes in each side so that they can easily be attached, which would be nice. And again, probably two holes here for the um, forearm detail and the little slider. Uh, in the past, I've just glued them in. Here's one of my old arms, light. See how it's just sort of glued in place? And that works totally fine. I've had no problems with that, but, um, you know, may figure out something different just since I'm going through the trouble. Um, but that's it. And then I also have, there's the bolts are still there. Uh, I did an RE7 version, which hopefully is here still. And there's part of it. And there's an upper arm in there somewhere. But So this will be for the Death Star droid. And I'm going to make a new cuff for this guy that matches the Death Star droid cuff. And I am probably going to post some Death Star droid files online as well. Um, a Rogue One style torso and maybe some legs. And then in the coming months, I've been working on them in ZBrush. Um, but yeah, super duper exciting. And one last thing that I forgot to mention is that the reason I attached the cuff as opposed to making it separate, like on my old arms, when this is a separate piece and you could change it, is that... Uh, on the inside, I was able to really round this out so there's no edge. Like on, on the old one, there's a little seam right there. It doesn't seem like a big deal, but this hole is very small for my hand to fit through. So it, it just fits. So anything I can do to minimize the friction of putting my arm through this thing is good. Um, and by attaching this, I was able to make a nice fillet in here and round out that little seam line, which is very, very comfortable to put on and off. And I'm still super stoked on the print quality here. This is not going to take very much cleanup. So hopefully I'll have this thing gold soon and I'll actually have a set. And then I can justify actually putting these out for people. Um, but anyway, just an update. Hope you guys enjoyed. That's what I've been up to. Everybody asked me, how's the 3PO project? And the Don Post 3PO that I was going to do as a statue, I'm probably still going to do as a statue, but I am breaking it up to make costume parts because why not, right? That's how it goes. Anyway, I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you later. Bye!